everyone, I'm Marta Corizon. I'm here in New Zealand, extremely happy and grateful to Candice for invitation and to each girl who came to my workshop and who I met. Thank you. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Katrina Siham from Ukraine and I came all the way here from Bahrain and thank you so much Candice for your invitation. It was such a great experience and I love it so much. And uh, thank you all the ladies who who been to my workshops. I'm going to see you again and I uh, love you guys. So Martha, tell us about how you prepare the music that you dance to. You have such incredible uh, understanding of the lyrics. Do you understand the lyrics that you're dancing to? Or just explain your process. Uh, I don't speak Arabic language, but I have a friend who do, who, who, who speaks. <laughs> and I always ask for translation, so I know I know exactly every word, so I, at least I understand the mood and then when I know the translation so I can create uh, to reflect the lyrics. So people who don't speak Arabic, they don't understand, but I want them to understand while I'm dancing. Beautiful. And Katerina, can you tell us why you decided to start working? What motivated you to go to the Middle East? Well, first it was like just to try because I got this idea from one of my friends who've been to Middle East and uh, one of my first contract was to Oman and I fall in love with the uh, Middle East and the Gulf countries as well and because that's why <clears throat> one of my signature style is Khaliji right now and uh, you know then I got stuck there for 10 years so far <laughs> and actually now I'm based in Bahrain and still enjoying the life and the country and everything. Awesome. And Marta, can you tell us how you develop your very strong and beautiful accents? You have such incredible ways that you move your hips and your body. How did you train to do this? First of all, thank you very much <laughs> for a compliment. Uh, I use my muscles. So for, I think that it's very important to be able to show the accent because I can before I couldn't do this, but now I go to the gym, but that may be any other sport that uh, in which you use your muscles. So I go to the gym, I train, train my body, so I able to contract it where I need. So I think it's very important to be able to fix it, to stop and then to relax. Thank you. And Katerina, can you tell us what is the best part for you about living in the Middle East? Oh, the best part is to get connection with um, local culture and people because you know uh, even you study somewhere overseas and you have like just approximate idea about how it works there but and how it's living or if you go there just like touristic trips and still uh, I always say like don't miss the tourism and being an expat so I'm basically when you're expat and you're like work there on a contract based and you can go really deep inside the culture it gives you a super cool experience uh, to learn from people how they dance and also the local traditions and the mm. culture and uh, some customs because this really influenced the dance as well and the and the language of course so mm. it's also lots of dialects still and I'm still learning the Arabic <laughs> there and it's such a cool experience wonderful awesome Okay, back to you, Marta. I want to find out about how you develop your musicality because this is something also about your signature style that people love. Uh, I think it really helps me uh, that when I was in a school, uh, seven years, I played a piano. Ah. So I think this helps me because I, I hear many sounds, mm. many accents that just not on the first uh, lay, yes, like yes many layers I can hear them so I think that if you play any instrument it will really help you right oh very cool never too late to start <laughs> <laughs> never too late that's true awesome and Katerina it's so inspiring that you live and work in the Middle East as a dancer and I think that this is something that a lot of people are afraid to do can you tell us what is the worst thing for you about working um, in the Middle East you know I've been worried i've been afraid to go there as well you know like most of the people who go there first time even to visit they're not sure what to expect because of uh, you have all this news and tv you don't you are not you don't know if it's safe but i was so surprised that uh, i feel it's actually until now i feel much safer than in in ukraine or in in uh, italy where I'm, I'm also resident because the gulf countries like bahrain oman and UAE, it's uh, super safe countries and it's like clean 
and uh, so it's nice but the, mm. the worst thing for me it's the thing that they have only two seasons there not the four like I miss four seasons they have only two seasons uh, one is hot and second one is super hot <laughs> so it's like now it's like a hot season so still when I'm going back it will be not that hot as before so I can finally enjoy the sun no base and go outside without <laughs> air condition I understand <laughs> okay Awesome. Okay, and last question for you, Marta, is what advice do you have dancers to stay motivated to keep working on their craft and make sure that they achieve their goals? I think that it's very important to be concentrated on what you do good. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we see very good what we do bad, some bad technique and we concentrate on that mm -hmm. and we may be sad because of this. So I recommend you to see what you do really nice and of course we always can improve our technique. So do every day 10 minutes to improve something and that will be perfect, that will yeah. be enough. Choose music that you like. Do what you like and enjoy. So this is the main moment that we need to do what we really, what we really, uh, what really makes us happy. So, and maybe you will even not know need motivation. Uh, awesome. <laughs> Just because to be happy and enjoy the moment and concentrate on positive. This is such good advice, thank you. And Katerina, last question for you is, what advice do you have for dancers who are considering starting a career in the Middle East? Uh, I would, there are so many advices I would give because I have like more than 10 years experience right now and it would be like I would avoid so many mistakes if I would knew this 10 years ago and I was just talking to Marcia yesterday <laughs> that she told me like you have to do the online course for people yes. who just start in this because uh, for me it's just like something mm. that I used to and I know this but for some people it's just like some really new information mm. and uh, also people don't know for example um, how what is the average price you can ask for your uh, mm. uh, daily wages and uh, what is the uh, how you should deal with the agent how you should deal with the with the hotel management especially mm. and you know how to avoid all this process like how to arrange your like visa work permit and all these things and um, just for me the main uh, advice is to, to check with someone who have been working there before and uh, or apply ask the, for kids yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say so the best advice is to come and train with you <laughs> yeah because lots of dancers are yeah. asking me about advices but like yeah uh, I would recommend really to check with someone who've been working there and to yes. like search about this uh, place where you're going to work and uh, but the also number one um, uh, advice is like don't be afraid yeah. you know and lots of people will maybe give you like uh, some uh, things like they they have bad experience in some places because I used to have like back feedback about some place where I was working they had like bad experience and I have much better or I was working there with mm. different management and they're all is changing and yes. it's like uh, I, I had good experience and someone else get bad experience mm. so just never be afraid of trying and I would tell you like nobody is going to kidnap you yeah this is number one because everybody is afraid like they're going to kidnap you I said like you know guys like it's uh, still it's pretty safe nobody's going to kidnap you and uh, again make sure that you once you go there you can always leave and don't be afraid actually to like fight for your rights because this is what number one experience uh, which I get when I was there because I always have lots of troubles with the agents you'll get it with the hotel management but don't be afraid to go even to police and uh, tell them that we're going to uh, tell that you are not like you are not trying to cheat me with this, my salary or you are trying to cheat with any conditions and like don't be afraid because actually um, those people they they will be more in trouble than you if you're yeah. going to fight for your rights you know what I mean so great just don't be afraid fight for your rights <laughs> that's fantastic well thank you ladies so much for coming to little old New Zealand we absolutely loved having you here and we, we hope to see too. you here again thank you. thank you so much for this interview thank you Candice and hopefully to see you. you once more time we'll miss you guys